Hello there. Thanks again for joining me for another session of Move Your Body and Speak English. We're going to follow on with synonyms. Synonyms. So words that have similar meanings. Here we go. We'll start with words. Here we have an image of a person who is looking very unwell. He has a thermometer in his mouth to test the temperature. He's got hives all over his face, or we can say dots. His eyes look unwell and his mouth is pointed downwards. So we say we can say that he looks sick. He looks sick. Another way of saying that is with the word ill. Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> I lost my puzzle piece. Uh, so here we are with two words that mean similar things, sick and ill. Okay, let's go to the next word, the next synonym. And here we have an image of a person with reading glasses, a mouth that's pointed upwards, so they look quite happy or proud. And here above the hairline, we can see a type of hat. It's a special hat. It's called a graduation hat. So this person has gone to university. They've studied hard. They've gotten, gotten a degree or a PhD or a master's. And so we can say, we can label this, this person as being clever. This person is clever. We could also say, that this person is smart. Smart. Or clever. And our final synonym for today is this one here. Here we have an image of a mouse and some feet. Is the bottom of of their pants, the person's pants, leg pant, and their feet. We can say that this little animal, this mouse, is tiny. This mouse is tiny. Well, my puzzles aren't, aren't cooperating today. Oh, here we go. So another way of describing this mouse is you can say the mouse is small. Small or tiny. I've saved some tiny baby teeth. These are from my son's mouth. <laughs> they are the baby teeth that fell out and then the permanent ones came in. Or you can say that these teeth, these tiny teeth, are the milk teeth. Here we have a jar of seeds. You can see how tiny the seeds are. Tiny seeds, they're so small. Let's do some movement. So find your place, place your feet on the floor, feel them into the floor, 
your whole foot on both sides. You can feel the heel into the floor and your toes into the floor and just breathe easy. Take an inhale and exhale. Your knees are soft, but you feel tall. And now let's bring our arms to our sides. We're going to make ourselves very tiny. So first of all, we have to make ourselves big. Otherwise we have nowhere to go to be small, to be tiny. So here we go. We're going to bring everything into the center. Our whole self into the center and down until you're very tiny, as small as you can be. And now let's do that again. So we're going to make ourselves as tiny as we can. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. tiny and then let that go and rest let's do it one more time squeeze everything into the center of you until you get smaller and smaller and smaller and it's so tiny And then reverse that movement and rest. <clears throat> so when we get sick, we want to rest. We want to just rest. We don't have much energy. And so let's just do this movement and feel rest inside yourself. Feel the resting. But now in order to fight the illness, in order to fight the sickness, inside ourselves we have to be working very hard to fight. So let's start to do that. Let's bring our arms into a fist and fight the thing inside us is making us sick or ill. So just fight it. Imagine you're a cell inside your body and it's going to fight that virus. It's going to fight it and it's going to absorb it and make it neutral so that it has no effect. Keep going. And now it has no effect. And all the cells in your body do that. All the fighting cells. To make you well again. Let's just bring our arms up and place them on our head like a hat and again bring our arms up place our hands just above our head like a hat and we can say that we are clever we are smart you don't have to go to university necessarily but we are smart naturally our body is smart. Last time. Well, let's finish there and we'll see you next week. Bye now.